Today guys on Beer Geek Nation, we are looking at the latest release from Lagunitas. This is their nighttime black IPA, coming in at 8.2% alcohol by volume, 65 IBUs. This beer is described on the bottle as being basically the antithesis of their daytime IPA, which is their session IPA, I think coming around 4.6% or so. I've actually not had the pleasure of having that one, but I hear it's fantastic. So thought I would pick this one up, guys. This one was $4.99 for a 22 ounce bottle of an 8% IPA. I was like, wow. I don't know how they're making beer at those prices. It's crazy, crazy stuff. So looking forward to it. Lagunitas, one of my consistent go-to breweries. They're just bringing some fantastic stuff. I'm not a big black IPA guy. I think some breweries kind of tend to go towards the basically a hoppy stout, whereas I prefer more of a subtle roastiness and a big hoppy beer, much like Firestone's uh, Wookie Jack, which is kind of the bar for me. So let me get this one in glass so that you guys know it smells taste. Give the final verdict on the Lagunitas Nighttime Black IPA. All right, guys, so the aroma on the nighttime IPA, and I'm getting it from here. Oh my gosh, big, big sweet peach, pineapple, mango, a little bit of orange peel, a little bit of grape, a little bit of that dankness, a slight, slight, slight roastiness, but it is an absolute hot bomb, wow. All right, guys, the taste on the nighttime IPA, cheers. Oh, wow. Wow, big, big bitterness right at the front of the tongue. Lots of tropical fruits. I get peach, mango, papaya coming through, an orange peel, a little bit of lemon zest, a slight kind of lime kind of twist to it. If my eye, if I didn't see this beer, I would say it was a standard IPA. There, and now that I kind of warmed up a little bit, there's a little bit of roastiness in there, but it's very, very subtle. And what, what malt bone is there is very dry. It's there to just accentuate those hops and it does it perfectly. There's a nice kind of tropical hoppiness in the middle of the mouth. It reminds me a lot of Sucks in the middle of the mouth, Lagunita Sucks. Um, very dry aftertaste. In the aftertaste, again, a subtle roastiness, but it just makes those pops, hop, those hops pop. Mango, peach, uh, lots of ripe pineapple, a little bit of orange, a little bit of dankness in there. It's just a freaking fantastic, fantastic beer and an 8.2%. I don't get any of that alcohol at all. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Lagunitas Nighttime IPA, limited release, 8.2%, available right now. Guys, get this one. This is getting an A plus for me. This is probably gonna be one of the best beers of 2014, to be completely honest. I didn't know what to expect. Again, I'm not a big black IPA guy, but I keep trying them. This is the best black IPA I've ever had. End of sentence right there. It is really, really hoppy. Again, my eyes closed. I'd be hard pressed to say it was a black IPA. Knowing that as it warms up, you start to get a little bit of roastiness, but it's not like a stout. You know, it's not like a hoppy stout or anything. It's just there again to really accentuate the hops and it does that perfectly. Big, big tropical hops, a lot of just, all over the place as far as hop profiles. It actually reminds me a lot of Stone's Enjoy By, and that is a huge compliment. I mean, it's just every time I try it, I'm like, whoa, that's very, very much like Stone's Enjoy By. So imagine that, except in a black IPA version, and you've got the nighttime IPA. It's awesome, awesome stuff. Again, $4.99 a bottle locally to me. I am going out tomorrow to buy more of this stuff. It's awesome stuff. Get it, get it, get it. Let me know what you guys think about it in the, in the section below. Getting an A-plus for me. And remember, folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.